A welcome fit for royalty. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi blessing Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and his wife for their friendship and the economic gifts they bring with them. It's an important visit. Preparations in Modi's home state of Gujarat have been going on for months. No trip to India would be complete without a visit to its famous tourist locations, but eventually it was down to business. Tokyo is now India's third largest foreign direct investor, helping it develop everything from its roads and buildings to its automotive industry. And the scope has become even bigger with the launch of a new bullet train project. Japan is a pioneer of high-speed rail networks and the project at the centre of this collaboration with India is a high-speed link between Ahmedabad and Mumbai, India's first high-speed train and one which will significantly reduce the travel time between the two cities. Japan is providing 81% of the money for the $17 billion project through a 50-year low-interest loan. There have been no fatal accidents since the launch of Japan's bullet train service and I am proud to say that this is the safest rail service in the world. This year Japan sent safety experts to India three times. Japan will share the knowledge of our high level rail safety with India and through this it will help ensure safety in all railway services in India. This project gives Japan the lead in a sector China has also been competing in. Next generation growth will happen only in places where there are high speed corridors. Friends, a transport system plays a very significant role in the development of any country. But the two-day visit comes just days after New Delhi ended a military confrontation with China. A visit to the Gandhi Museum, perhaps providing a message of peace in a time of crisis. Many see the growing economic and political partnership between India and Japan as a way to counter China's assertive influence across the region. Craig Leeson, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.